hit 30k. Hey friends, it is the 16th of December. Um, I just finished a short writing session. Um, I don't even know how long it was. <laughs> um, but I managed to write 630 something words, I think. Um, so I'm at 30,742 words. So pretty happy with how this scene is turning out. Um, hopefully tomorrow I'll wrap up this chapter. I feel like I've been in this chapter forever. Um, and I'm excited to get to like the next part of the story. <laughs> Um, because that's stuff that I know I'll actually be able to like keep um, in revisions, but making progress. So, uh, quick update. What I've been doing so far, so basically since NaNoWriMo was over and I wrote the midpoint, has been going through and like detail outlining each chapter. Um, so kind of using like, I'm gonna do a whole video on this process. I have a toddler with a yo-yo coming. <laughs> Yeah. Um, so basically I've been doing that instead of like actually writing um, towards the end because the long story short is I didn't know what the ending was which is a problem that I have when I outline novels um, is that I don't really ever know the ending so my goal is to outline every chapter. I think I have about six or seven left. Um, I just finished up chapter 19. I am at 32,000 words. Um, and yeah, I think I'm going to just outline to the end, um, this way to outline to the end. Um, and then based on the amount of work that I know I need to do at the beginning, I think I'm going to call it a finished zero draft. Um, because at the end of the day, this is just a zero fast draft. Um, so I'm not too, too worried about like actually having like the show versus tell aspect. Like right now I'm very much just telling what happens, um, because I didn't know what happened <laughs> up until this point. Um, but I was able to, in my notebook, go through and outline the next five chapters, um, which does not quite get me to the end. So I still have a little bit of work that I need to do. Um, just like little scribble notes, nothing like these big paragraphs that I've been doing in my document. Um, but I'm very, very proud of the progress that I am making so far. I'm excited to get to the end um, and I can't wait to share this video with you whenever that happens. It is January 1st when I'm recording this. So happy new year. Um, if all you did was survive in 2022, I'm rooting for you this year. So, yeah, let's keep writing. into my office just kidding <laughs> we just moved we don't have our stuff yet uh which is why i haven't posted in a while um 
we moved a thousand miles <laughs> again uh but we have internet and it is time to finish my NaNoWriMo novel <laughs> so let's do it that you're okay with chaos because <laughs> we've got a lot of it going on. This is my new office. I don't have a desk because it's missing. <laughs> my bookcases have all been destroyed. Um, so that's great, but we're not here to talk about that. We're here to talk about my NaNoWriMo novel. It is finished. Uh, <laughs> that's exciting. Um, what did I learn? I learned a lot from this process. This is technically the first, while I did win NaNoWriMo in 2021, this 2022 NaNoWriMo novel is the first one that has like had a real like sequential like <laughs> plot. Um, the plot is a mess and needs a lot of work, but this is the first time that I've like really followed this <laughs> the same plot like from beginning to end um so yeah I am really proud of myself for that um and like I said it needs a lot of work we're gonna have to completely rewrite a lot of it um but I am so proud of the work that I did and what else um <laughs> one of the things that I learned is that I have a tendency to change my ideas at the last minute um and I did do this with this novel um but it was largely because I wasn't confident in my ability as a writer to pull the story together um which is fine because we'll figure it out <laughs> later but um that's something I really want to work on in future projects is making sure that I stick to the original idea and I'm not saying that like if your idea changes along the way that it's necessarily a bad thing but I'm talking like things change so drastically to where it doesn't even align with what the original idea was uh so that's a problem that I identified that I do quite frequently um and I would like to not do that <laughs> anymore uh, the second thing that this NaNoWriMo taught me is that I need to have better outlines. I thought based on how um, my work on the legacy trials went that I didn't need to have like super thorough outlines because I thought that that was why I was getting stuck with that project because I was getting bored because I already knew everything that was going to happen. But this project, <laughs> man. Uh, I started out outlining really great and then somewhere towards the end of act two it kind of all fell apart and I realized I had no idea how this was going to end um, and that's really hard to pull off when <laughs> you are trying to write 50,000 words in a month and 
you're in the middle of a race in the novel. Um, I needed to know where it was going to end. I learned through this process that backwards planning and backwards outlining really works well for me. So that's something that I am excited to explore and learn more about. Uh, and yeah, <laughs> um, the last thing that this novel really taught me is that I can write pretty good scenes when I want to. Um, it also taught me that it's a lot less about getting the word counts and writing the novel as fast as you can in a month and more of just telling the story and getting the words out on the page. It's like telling myself the story so that I can go back in and write better things next time and in subsequent drafts. So my cat is scratching at the window. Um, I am not done with this project yet. I'm just going to put it aside for a while. Uh, that is my plan. My goal was to finish it by the end of January and I have done that. So um, it is January 24th and I still need to write two poems and a short story this month. I have been working on a short story here and there. Um, so I need to do those uh, this week to hit my goals. Um, what's next after finishing this project? That's a good question. I think what's next is that I'm going to start the outlining process for When We Were Legends, which I think I've mentioned the idea briefly. I'm probably not going to talk too much uh, about it because it is something that's like very personal to me. Um, I have a couple ideas like that this week, but I have <laughs> this week, this year, but I have some really fun videos. I video ideas planned for the other novels, the other stories that I want to work on this um, year. Um, so stay tuned for those, but yeah, I will be putting Spellrunner aside for probably a month, maybe two, um, to give myself some space. I'm going to print it off. <laughs> um, definitely going to print it off. So yeah, I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to come back with a new outline and a new plan. Uh, but, but before then, I'm going to work on outlining another project. Um, and I'm not sure when I'm going to start writing that one, but I am going to outline that and I need to sit down and actually like plan out my year now that I have, I have it written down somewhere, but as you can see, my life is in boxes. Uh, so yeah, not sure where that is going to go, but my next major thing in my life that I need to get together is this office. So. I ordered a new desk. I'm going to get the office together sooner rather than later because I work from home so I need a functioning office. Um, and then hopefully from there I can dive into creating a writing routine. I also have a sunroom in this house that I'm looking to make like a tiny cozy little writing space in. Um, so yeah, cheers to the new year. Cheers to finishing projects. I hope your projects are going well. Let me know how they're doing down in the comments. Um, and I'll see you guys in the next one.